The first class was admitted in 1964 before a site for the campus had been chosen. And so one day there was an interesting headline in the Globe, girl accepted to UMass Boston, doesn't know where she's going. <laughs> was in Park Square. It started out in one building. It was all over the place, including the old combat zone, which is of course now million dollar condos. It did fulfill the dream that first generation Boston area college students should have an opportunity to go to an excellent institution of higher education. It was different for sure. I mean, people certainly loved being in the downtown area. Professors were fascinating, they were really engaged, they were easy to, to establish relationships with. The typical UMass Boston student when the school opened is not so different from the student today. People that oftentimes are the first people in their family ever to go to college. I'm one of those people. After five years of exploration, the one place that the university could build and not run into opposition was the old dump at Columbia Point. University of Massachusetts Boston was founded on some dynamic principles. A profound commitment to providing access to educational opportunities for our students. We're committed to diversity, inclusion, to having a positive impact on the community and the world at large. I think UMass Boston has a commitment to putting students first and a passion for teaching. To produce students that are equal to the best. We were trying to be a Harvard. And so the standard was, let's be at least what they are. There were lots of professors here who came out of real world experiences, out of the political world, out of the uh, criminal justice world, out of the healthcare world. The deep commitment of faculty to the success of their students has remained the same. And I doubt that will ever change. One of the things we're very proud of is that we have mentorship programs here on this campus. We have internship programs. There are opportunities to learn more from professionals. Outreach programs into the community. A multitude of things going on at any one time. We have opportunities to do research. There's a great support system in terms of advising. The research that I'm doing, uh, I really like how applied it is. One of the things I love about UMass Boston is the amount of diversity that we have here. You're going to find so many different different types of people and you're going to find a place where you're going to fit in. So many developments, the number of you know, graduate programs that are being launched, the investment in research both at the undergraduate and the graduate level, the establishment of the Honors College, this commitment to making Boston both incredibly local but also incredibly global. I think it's a place where students can afford to come and tap into a lot of this energy around the sciences. The ISC will mean many, many things to us. Tremendous benefit for research at UMass Boston. Some of the latest equipment. Labs from multiple disciplines in one building. All the amenities we need. It's like this big, beautiful building, all glass windows and everything. With open lab space, which is what people are moving towards in lab design. It kind of fosters collaboration. Then we can be able to make really excellent uh, measurements and get very good data. And that kind of physical infrastructure is, of course, very attractive to students who want to get involved in the sciences. Now, the same is true of our first new general academic building that's going up. Theater students in the future will have vastly better facilities to to work with than we have now. It will definitely broaden that whole department. For those who are doing studio art, there is space in which their work can be showcased and in which they can actually enrich the entire campus community. The waterfront is absolutely gorgeous and UMass is definitely celebrating that, that waterfront now. UMass Boston is like this hidden gem because it's such a rich academic environment that people don't necessarily think of. Now what I get is what aren't you building over there? To me, this is the most important academic institution in Greater Boston because of what it does. This university is on the move. I've never been on a campus that is as rich for 
possible collaborations across departmental lines. Especially with this effort for growth and growth in research, it is very dynamic. Residence halls, residence halls, residence halls. Having dorms for you must pass them will be such a great thing. There will be more people studying, more people getting ready for projects, working together, collaborating. It'll build a better community in the school. We see the possibilities ahead of us, and we know that we're sort of setting the stage for what could become really exciting. It's clear that the university has developed an ambition to take that urban mission worldwide and to share the benefits of its hard-earned knowledge with the rest of society. So I think that the founders would see the mission as still intact, but the stage on which it's being acted out greatly expanded. I believe that the values that UMass Boston has held for 50 years will allow us to build a strong future for the university. We're in the business of creating a culture that allows for students to come here as they are, but to leave willing to serve this commonwealth, this great city of Boston. And so we understand that it doesn't end just because you walk outside our doors. That contribution goes on and on and on and on and on.